Well, inside this door, we find <laughs> Gareth Mitchell. Yes, indeed. Guess what I'm doing? Yes. Uh, so this is uh, the first radio item ever I've ever done sitting on a toilet. Not just any old toilet. This is the Intelligence Toilet too. It's the smartest toilet you'll ever have the pleasure of like sitting on. Um, so basically, what, as well as doing the usual things that a toilet would do, it also takes all these parameters. There's a, a little foot pad just next to it where it all, you can take your weight. And then when you weigh yourself, the toilet measures your urine, your body temperature, and even your blood sugar, and it ends up on this display. Genius. One of the themes on our programme here from Japan is robotics and uh, I'm standing in front of something here that really gives you a sense of how seriously the Japanese take robotics. I'm in front of this massive Gandam robot. Now Gandam goes right to the heart of anime culture. It's a franchise that's been running 30 years and the Japanese people are absolutely crazy about it. So to celebrate 30 years of Gandam, they've built this construction. It's 18 metres high, apparently it weighs something like 35 tonnes and uh, they're going to open it later this week and it's going to be in a kind of blaze of smoke pouring out of its rocket propelled jetpacks and goodness knows what. Alright, well, if uh, radio presenting doesn't work out for me, then at least I can become a dentist. Check this out for technique, just drilling into the molar here. How are you? Good weekend, by the way. Oh, good, good. How are the kids? This is just an uncannily realistic robot here at the uh, Nippon Dentistry University in Tokyo. And um, basically they're letting uh, dental students and indeed uh, radio presenters loose on this uh, incredibly realistic robot. The skin feels realistic. Um, she has these big brown eyes that occasionally stare up to you, although with me she spends most of the time with them scrunched tightly closed, wincing away. If you just uh, leave me to it, we've just got a bit more drilling to do and I'm enjoying this a bit too much. There we go. Just open wide, very good. Lovely. Oh, good, thank you. There's no better example of Japanese robotics than the world famous, iconic humanoid robot Asimo, right here, giving a demo to about 100 kids here. Uh, walking around, using, using his limbs, I think it's a he, and kicking the ball. <laughs> Great, thank you. <laughs>